What's going on guys? Clutch here with your mod hub update for Farming Simulator 19. Guys, we've got three new mods in the mod hub this morning and seven updates. Wow. Um, just be aware, of course, though, of the three mods, only one is available on console. The other two are PC and Mac exclusive. So the first one is the Soda Mac MiG 8800. That is a manure spreader that's PC exclusive as well, guys. We have the tow bar right here, which is also PC Mac exclusive. Over here, we have the Coon Very Master 1535 Plus One, which is available to all platforms, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and Mac. And then all our updates. We'll go through them all one at a time. Let's dive in and uh, let's take a look at each one of these. So let's start with the Coon Very Master 1535 Plus One. This is obviously a plow, and we've got a few of these, but at least this one does have something that you can change. There is one option available on this, and it's right back here, this wheel, this tire, it can be changed. So this here is the big wheel. Uh, there is an option to go with a standard size as well, but that is the plow itself. You can take a look at that. That's not bad. Let's go over to the store and we'll just take a look at it quickly there. Get our prices and our specs. Here you go. Five, we have the 153, the 153 4 plus 1, and now we have the 153 5 plus 1. So we've got the whole gamut now of the Kuhn plows. Uh, once inside, you'll see it requires, was it 180 horsepower? It's a 3 meter plow and it sells for 28,500 bucks. And for our single only option, let me see if I can zoom in on it here. Oh, 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 there we go. There is your standard wheel, and you also have the big wheel. Duke Hill looks pretty good, actually, but eh, it's nice. It's a, it's a plow. It's a three meter plow. I guess what you'd expect. So that there is the Coon Very Master 1535 plus one. And our next mod is the Soda Mac MiG 8800. This is a manure spreader, and it's a good sized manure spreader. This is a big one, a triple axle manure spreader. That's a capacity of 27,000 liters. Not too bad. So not a lot of options with this. We'll jump over to the store and take a quick look at her. No coloring changes or anything along those lines. The only real thing you can change is the tires. Now this one is a little bit interesting. So you have your Michelins and your Trellborg, kind of what you'd expect. And you have two different wheel setups, standard and wide. However, if you keep on going through the list again, you're going to get bigger tires as you can see there. So it's a bit of a strange, you have two different types of wide tires. It's like two different diameters. Uh, the price does change if you go with the extra big wide tires, but uh, just be aware you do have an option. Do you have it with a Trelleborg as well? Yeah, you do too. Oh no, that goes to a standard. That is interesting. So it's a different size standard tire. That's also it goes to a bigger wheel. Um, and the rim actually grows as well. That's interesting. So you're paying an extra thousand bucks for the extra big tires but it's still considered standard it's just maybe mislabeled in the menu that's about it anyway so that is a 27,000 liter uh, manure spreader requires 215 horsepower 24 meters spread on it and it does a speed of 12 miles per hour so we're all set up let's give this a quick test shall we let's see open this up there we go oh there we go and fire it up Not bad. All right. Well, it's a good size spread. 24 meter spreads. Not bad. Awesome. Well, it works like you would expect. Very cool. All right, guys. So that there is the Soda Mac MiG 8800. And the last of our new mods, we have the Tow Bar. Look at this. It actually looks really good. It's a nice chromey color, although the paint looks fantastic on it. So obviously there's not a ton of options on this. Um, you're gonna get your standard coloring options. You will find this in the miscellaneous section of your store and its total price is simply 500 bucks. Now, if you change your colors, it goes up by 50. Not a lot of change there, but look at the paint on it. It, uh, it has an, almost a metallic sheen, I think to every single one of the colors. Let's ch check a few of them out. Yeah, there you go. Almost a chrome color. So I do like that. I do like the attention to detail on it. It does look like a proper steel tow bar. Very cool, nice. So a ton of different options, all your standard lizard colorings, but no other options, kind of what you'd expect there. All right, so let's give this a test. So I've got our tow bar sitting down here. I've got a case right there. I've got our other case right here. Let's try and connect to it. Now, one thing with this tow bar is you do need to connect to the right side first. You can see as I back up our case, I'm not getting an option to connect to it, nothing. Now, if I spin this bad boy around, we'll drive over top. As soon as we get to the far side, there we go, we can connect to it. So you do need to connect 
your first implement to the right side. You don't you, have, you can't just pick a side and connect to it. It has to go to one side. So if it doesn't work the first time, obviously try again, and uh, you'll get it then. Now let's see if we can just back this thing into place. We should be able to connect the back of this tractor. Oh, I had it. I had it. There we go. Boom. Let's take a quick look. So it connects to the three-point hitch, the pin hitch portion of it all. Looks good. Everything is locked. Now we should be able to just drive away. Somewhat. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it does work. Now, what about the front? Does it work just as well with the front? That's one thing we haven't tested yet. Let's go double check and see here. It might be able to st easier to steer if you connect to the front. I wonder if the axles will turn with you. I don't think it will, but it might. Let's see. We'll zoom in a bit. Let me get this thing to flop around. See, that's the other problem with this is it doesn't stay steady. You gotta <laughs> let's keep going. Come back here. There we go. No, 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 no. Come back here. Oh man, look at it roll. Have you ever seen a tractor roll like that? That's hilarious. Come back here. No, there's no connection point on the front. Uh, oh, wait a minute. There is too. I was going to say, I thought there was. Where does it connect to? There's a little pin hitch right on the side there. Cool. All right. Does it work better with this? See, the axle doesn't turn, but you don't need to uh, bind it itself up as much. At least then, when you get going in a straight line, it'll kind of go straight with you. So I can get going somewhat straight here. Perfect. Not a bad way to move equipment around the farm. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that there is the new tow bar. Now let's talk about mod updates. We've got a couple of new ones. Uh, well, the Fenton Featherite 509, 510, and the Fenton Featherite 51X have both been updated. Pretty minor updates to both of these tractors, guys. Uh, some minor improvements, uh, air filter, some cosmetic stuff. Nothing too, too crazy to write home about there, but they have both been updated as well. We've got an update to, well, the adjustable weight, which I don't remember if it was colorized before, if we could add colors. I don't remember if that's what it is. They didn't really say what the update is to. It's just been updated. I don't think it could add colors before. I could be wrong on that. Anyways, that's the adjustable weight. It has been updated as well. Now, this is probably the one you're looking at, right? The Case IH Puma CVX with tracks has had a somewhat significant update. Um, so it's fixed decals on the hood. So this, the, uh, the power decals up on the hood here have been fixed up as well. A ton of coloring options have been added. Um, obviously, well, I don't think I've ever seen a baby blue case this color before, but the rims, you have a little a panel piece here that can be now colorized as well. And as well, we've added some different decals or different equipment, sorry, that uh, can be put in the cab. And those are called implement terminals. So if you look at my bottom menu there, you have the implement terminal one and terminal two. And as I select that, you're gonna see that a terminal is popping up inside the cab. So you have a couple different options of different terminals you can stick in there. There's terminal one. If I go to terminal two, once again, I can add another one in there if I want. Somewhat interesting. It's different. I, there's a couple tractors that do have this. This is the first one I've seen that lets you add two different ones and choose um, two different types of terminals that you can add onto your window. Something different. And as for colorings, like we said, guys, you could really change the colors up of this tractor now. Uh, if you wanted to go with anything, really turn it into almost a John Deere. <laughs> go with some dark green there. Our design color, go to a yellow. So you can see that's the front there. And then our rim color, we could change to, I don't know, maybe a nice blue. You can really mix and match your colors on this particular unit now. Quite a few different options. Very cool. So that's the update to the case IH Puma CVX with tracks. Our next update was to the Vatterstad Cultis 300-305. Guys, the only real thing with this is it now has a sub-soiler variant. That is it. Um, all the other options that you had before are still available. It still has the different types of rollers. It has the extensions on the side here. It does have a, quite a few options, to be honest, for a cultivator or a subsoiler, but there's not nothing else different other than the fact that it has a variant to the subsoiler. And finally, our last update was to the NMC 320H Pro Snowblower. Um, the only thing that says it's updated on this is it now spawns in the shop with the pipe down. Um, I wanted to check something else out. Now, I've heard a few complaints, and I actually noticed this a little bit. It was a bit difficult to use and difficult to get it to uh, spray into stuff. So we're going to try this once again here. I've set something up in the corner, as you can see. And we're going to give this a quick test, guys. So it spawns typically with the pipe down. You have to put the pipe up. Now, it's, is it going to see? It's something right off the bat here. See, it already sees the trailer. Let's fire this thing up. And we'll drop this into place. 
Let's see if it picks up this grain and throws it in there. Let's see, it's still giving me a little bit of grief when it tries to connect to stuff. It's not a steady flow, unlike the milling machine, which would be a steady flow in there right now. I think this is still a bit of an issue. I don't think it's working quite the way it should yet, but it does do it. It just have to work it a little bit more. Cool. Anyways, guys, that there is the NMC 320H Pro Snowblower update. A little bit better, but I still think there's a bit of an issue there, potentially. But that there is going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. You know how I have to always say it, right? Have a great day, guys. We will talk with you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Thank you.